Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Got a new helmet, new specs. Could kind of just do with uh, a new set of legs and lungs as well. I'm uh, ill again, which may uh, may or may not surprise a lot of you. Uh, training has taken a real back foot this last uh, this last few weeks, and I'm still feeling pretty grim. Uh, just thought I'd come out, try and get a bit of fresh air, just spin the legs a little bit, just to see if that helps make a difference and uh, while I do feel a little bit fresher I'm not actually sure whether it's doing me any good or not but we'll uh, we'll wait and see on that one it's uh, hardly Calpe like conditions here today nice and uh, nice and cool fortunately it's not raining and it's not icy as well so I'm not going to complain too much with that and uh, being outside at least beats being on the rollers so just doing a nice little loop today a little bit hilly Mostly sort of single lays like this, which is quite a rarity around uh, around here. So I'm making the most of the peace and quiet. I'm making the most of a day off as well because I've been in far too much work this last few weeks, which is good because I'm earning a lot of money, but not good because I'm not getting much time to rest and recover. Which, while I'm feeling like this, isn't uh, isn't fantastic. But I'm just gonna make the best of it and uh, not get too bogged down with things because it's quite easy to get a bit demoralised and think, oh no, the season's over, it's ruined. I'm just trying to avoid thinking like that and uh, just keep resting up and hopefully I'll be back uh, back on with the training in a little bit of a larger volume sometime soon. I can't actually remember whether I, uh, whether I mentioned this or not, but I did enter another race that's on the 17th of March after I made the uh, the date is set video where I said that my first race was probably going to be the 1st of April. I entered that one as well, but I'm now kind of regretting entering that one on the 17th of March because it's less than six weeks away. Um, it's probably not going to go very well if I do end up getting selected for it, but I'm kind of hoping now that I don't because then I've got an excuse not to ride it. but. Just have to, uh, just have to, have to see how the legs feel with it, because you never know, it might actually come back to me quite quickly, but then again, it might not, and I might uh, get absolutely rinsed, because that's a E123 race around the world famous pinball circuit, so at least it's flat, but it's going to be fast as well, so I've got to bear that in mind. Um, yeah, not overly confident at the minute, but you never know might actually end up feeling alright for it but I think kind of shifting the plans for this season back quite a long way now because I've barely done anything since September and realistically I can't expect to be keeping up with elites and first carts when I'm kind of not you know I'm a second cart but I'm not a particularly good second cart and the form that I'm on at the minute is pretty atrocious so yeah. So I'm going to try and keep this reasonably short and sweet. You know me, I do tend to waffle on with uh, with these things. So 
last year, hopefully some of you are aware that I was at university at Southampton and things weren't working out so I decided to leave. I then came back home, so recovered a little bit and then got a job working at Lidl. Anyway, fast forward to the start of December last year and I decided that it wasn't quite working out for me working there and went back to TK Maxx where I've worked in the past and uh, got quite a few connections there so managed to get a job quite easily there and since then it's been work 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 I've been doing uh, a lot of hours which like I said is good for uh, good for the bank balance but not leaving me with uh, with much free time and what I'm doing now, I'm back at TK Maxx, is working through uh, the Team Leader Development Programme, which is essentially sort of the first step up into uh, management in retail. So, you know, I've kind of tried the whole uni thing to, to make that path work, and it hasn't done. And I now need something realistic to, uh, to work towards, to build a future for myself. And whilst it would be nice to you know, work part-time for the rest of my life and cycle and make these videos all the time and, uh, and make a little bit of money from that. It's not sustainable and it's not really attainable either. Um, you know, there's very few people that can that can make it in the world of cycling full-time and with the videos as well. You know, yes, it's nice to have a little bit of, uh, of extra money coming in on the side, but it's never going to be a full-time thing for me and I've got to accept that and put a lot of my energy and effort into uh, into my job that I've got at the minute now which is meaning that this whole YouTube thing, and even the cycling as well both things are, are suffering quite a lot and uh, I've got to kind of hold my hands up and say sorry for that so there's a lot of people who subscribe for for me and the things that uh, the things that I make on here and I do kind of feel like I'm, uh, I'm letting a lot of people down but then again, I've also got to be a little bit selfish, you know, I can't just mope around not working and making videos for the rest of my life. Yes, it'd be nice if I had the support to do that, but I don't, so I've got to make something for myself. And I'm a lot happier now I'm uh, back at TK Maxx and it's, it's really working out for me. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be probably full time within the next five, six months and you know, I'll be earning enough to probably could afford to uh, afford to rent and start saving up for uh, for a house deposit for a mortgage so you know things are really looking up I'm being realistic and I think being you know, reasonable with uh, with everybody I'm gonna try and do my best to, to keep things up with the uh, with the videos it's just sort of been creeping up on me the last month or so that a lot of people, I think, perhaps are only really interested in seeing all the glitz and glam of cycling. And you're an everyday cyclist like me who's working full time and squeezing in rides here and there. Um, probably isn't the most interesting thing to watch. So if I could be in foreign lands all the time and getting loads of kit and everything, it, it'd be nice. But I also I want to try and be realistic with what I portray. I don't want to portray this image of me being like cycling abroad all the time and you know not having a job and things like that um, because that's not relatable to a lot of people I like to think that most of my viewers are people who work a lot and are struggling to uh, squeeze rides in but it might be that uh, you can relate to me quite well in that sense but it's not very interesting to watch somebody who's also doing the same thing as you so I'm just gonna have to Go along with it. See what uh, see what interesting stuff I can come up with. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll be back into the racing soon, and uh, that should hopefully provide some interesting content for you to watch. So, I think that's it. Semi run over. I've got everything out there now. Um, do appreciate all the support I'm getting from everybody. It's uh, nice to have the feeling that I have a bit of a following I know it's not massive but it uh, it means a lot to me because I'm not particularly sociable it's nice to just have a, a feeling that I've got people to uh, people to talk to so you know thanks thanks very much I do really appreciate it so that's it for today's video hope you enjoyed it if you uh, if you did a like would be very much appreciated and subscribe as well if you want to see some more of me and Bella because she likes getting in the videos so thanks again and hopefully I'll see you in the next one